Hey guys, this is Anthony Morganti. I am MrPhotographer.com. How many times has this happened to you? You're inside of a building or a house and you're taking photos in the various rooms inside of that building or house and the windows are all blown out. Well, in this video, I'm going to demonstrate how you could take two images. One image that is exposed for the windows and another image that is exposed for the actual room and blend those images together using luminosity masks in Photoshop. I'm actually gonna show you two different ways. Both ways are actually very easy. One way though is super easy. It may not be as effective though as that second way or the other way I'll show you. So we're gonna show two different ways. First, I'll close this down. We're going to open up Photoshop and we need to get the images into Photoshop. Now I took two images as you saw one was exposed for the windows, one was exposed for the room. And we need to lo uh, load those into Photoshop as layers, one on top of the other. To do that, go up to File, down to Scripts, and down to Load Files into Stack. When you do that, this dialog box pops up. Just browse to where the images are on your computer. I happen to have mine in this folder on the desktop. So I'm going to click on one. I'm going to hold the command key on my Mac to click on the second one so they're both selected. If you have a PC, hold the control key. We'll click open. Now you can see they're there. Now you may be tempted to check auto, temp to automatically align source images. Don't do that yet and I'll explain why in a moment. I really do need to align these images because both of them were handheld. I did not use a tripod, but I would recommend that you do align your images even if you used a tripod just don't do it here and i'll explain as soon as i load them into photoshop by clicking ok now once i do that they'll be loaded as layers one on top of the other now the reason why i didn't want to align them yet is you may not have them in the proper order over here and if we already already align them you may have to drag the bottom one on top of the top one and it will mess up your alignment now it just so happened that in this case it did put them in the correct order with the image that is properly exposed for the windows on top and the image that is properly exposed for the room on the bottom. That's the proper order. But let's just say for the sake of argument it was the other way around. All I have to do is click on that bottom one and drag it on top. That's all you have to do. But if I had already aligned them I'd mess up the alignment. Now I do need to align these. As I mentioned, this was handheld. So I'm going to click on one. Again, I'm on my Mac. I'm holding the command key to click on the second one. So they're both selected. Control key if you have a PC. Then we're going to go up to edit and we're going to go to auto align layers. So click there. Just use the auto projection. You don't have to check anything else and click OK. And now you can see it aligned it. We have some like pixels around the edge, but that's OK. Now, I mentioned there's two different ways to do this. Um, I'll show you the, I guess, the harder way, but in some instances, this might be the more effective way, all right? Um, I am now just clicked on that top layer. That's the darker layer. Let's call that the darker layer, and the other one's the lighter layer. So we're clicked on that. What you need to do is go to Channels. Now you have the RGB channel, then you have individual red, green, and blue channels. You're just gonna be dealing with the RGB channel and you have this little postage stamp right here. What you need to do is on a Mac, hold the command key in, on a PC, hold the control key in and click right on that little postage stamp. And when you do, you'll get a selection of all the brightest parts of the image. Now, it just select the very brightest parts. Maybe I want to select a little bit more into the midtones so I could add to the selection. To do that, don't just hold the command or control key in and click again because you'll just be doing the same thing. You want to add to the selection. So hold the shift key in, then hold the control or command key in, and then click again. And you'll add to it. You can see we added. I'll do that again. Shift, command on my Mac, shift, control on a PC, click. And you can see I'm starting to select more and more every time. Shift, Command, click. See now I'm selecting down here into the reflection that's on the floor. Let's do it one more time. Shift, Command, click. Again, of course, that Shift, Control, click on a PC. All right, 
We have this selection. I selected a lot of the brightest parts of the image. Now, image. Now I'm going to go to layers again. It still maintained that uh, selection. Now all we need to do is add a layer mask to this. Go down to the very bottom and click on the little layer mask icon. And look at that. We just blended the image together. We have the windows basically from that top dark layer blended with the rest of the room that is properly exposed. And because we have these blank pixels, we're going to have to crop it so you could get the crop tool and you could come in and crop away the blank pixels. Now these were unprocessed raw files, so I could come in and just start doing some processing as well. It is a little crooked as you could tell and I could straighten it and do all that stuff as well. But I'll save that for another day. So that is one way and, and that is the harder way to do it. All right. So what we'll do is we're going to undo all this. We'll go to up here and we'll go to right where I think it starts, which is right, right there. Okay. All right, so we're kind of back where we started now. Um, now, I'll align these layers just in case, you know, I screwed up or something when I went back. So I'm going to hold the Command key and select that uh, bottom layer. So they're both selected. And we're going to go up to Edit, Auto Align Layers. And again, don't have to check any boxes. Just click OK. And all right, now we align them again. Now what you need to do is go up to Edit. And you want to go down to Auto Blend Layers. And as soon as you do that, this comes up. You want to, you have stacked images. And you want to come up with one image that is a blend of those two. You're going to click on Seamless Tones and Colors. And you could do Content Aware Fill of the transparent areas. Those are the areas around the outside. I'm not going to do that, but you could if you want. We'll click OK. And it's going to take a second to do this. And there it is. Did it blending all automatically. So that's another way to do it. In some instances, it may work out great. I think it worked out better uh, than the other way for this. Maybe the windows are a little bit bright. Uh, but, um, you know, in some instances, this works out better maybe than the other method. In other instances, the other method will work out best. So that's how you use luminosity masking to blend not just bright windows, but anything that in a, let's say a properly exposed scene is blown out, take another shot really underexposed so that blown out area isn't blown out anymore. And then you could bring those two images into Photoshop and do one of these two methods to get those highlights um, properly exposed in a single photo. Um, that's it. Thank you everyone who watches my videos. I really do appreciate it. I'll talk to you guys soon.